Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad project. So let's get cracking. So, friends, we're going to find this project today by visiting the gallery. Look for one of my projects and click right on the HL Mod Tech. I have created something called SimLab Baseball. Today, it's at the very top. Later, you might have to search for it. But anyhow, when you click on it, it is a SimLab Baseball game. It is set to copy and tinker, so don't forget the golden rule of Tinkercad. Give a reaction before you copy and tinker. So once it fully loads with the two dice and all the other parts, jump into SimLab. You will have to wait a moment for all of the geometry to become real. I'll just let you know right now, this is made out of bouncy rubber and the dice are made out of wood. The game is pretty simple. If you're batting, you pick the pitch you think is coming. If you do shift nudge, it only takes one click to get to each one. Right now I'm going to choose a curveball, and then when I hit play, the dice roll, and if it comes up curveball, which it did, I guessed right, and I get the result, which is a home run. So what we do is hit reset. If you want to make them run the bases, you can. With a home run, it really doesn't matter. You can set that down when you're done. And then over here, we would change the score from 0 to 1. Notice we can do Control-C and Control-V so we don't lose these digits. So that was batter number 1. I'm going to go to batter number 2. This time, I'm going to expect a fastball. Once again, I'm going to hit play. This time, the pitcher threw a changeup, so I get a strike. Once again, I reset it. Everything comes back. But now I shift nudge the strike button to show that the second batter has one strike and there are no outs. It is that simple. You just keep playing the game. If you get a double, you put a person right there. If the next person gets a single, that person goes here and this person moves over one base. When you're pitching, I'll just show you that inning too. It's the same thing where now you pick the pitch. So I'm going to do shift nudge and I'm going to throw the curveball. And this time when I hit play, if it shows curveball, that means the batter guessed right and they get the result. So that would be a single. If you accidentally throw something, it's no big deal. You're going to hit reset anyhow. Now I can put that over there. I am back to no strikes. So I'm going to shift nudge to move that back and the batters have no outs. This time I'm gonna bring a blazing fastball in there. Once again, we hit play. User was not expecting it, so now they have a strike. Reset and nudge them into place. Friends, that is SimLab Baseball. Of course, this can be a ton of fun by yourself, or if you were sitting side by side with somebody, you could have a game of baseball together. Friends, I hope you have a ton of fun with SimLab Baseball, and of course, have a glorious day, and keep tinkering. Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to mention my website, hlmodtech.com. I have got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad with tons of amazing categories. Below that, you'll find the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you look down in the corner, friends, of course, you will find the built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. At the top of the page, you can find a link to the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, we've got a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, friends, you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.